Hi everyone and welcome to Russian Rides. I'm your host Tim Kirby and my mission is to test out every car that the Russian auto industry has to offer. And today we have this big bad boy. You know, I think the name of a car makes a difference. My mom had a 92 Ford Taurus, a Taurus like a big strong bull, but it was a boring sedan. This is the Oz pickup, which is a pickup truck. So logical, so wonderful. But when Russians say the word peak up, not as nice, but in English it's fantastic. So let's take a look at this big, not very expensive, pretty cool looking pickup truck. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that sweet sound, better than Harley Davidson. The engine noise from this machine is fantastic. Oz makes a family of vehicles that are all really big. It sort of blurred the line between SUV, truck, and Jeep. But the main thing that they have to offer is size. They're all big. And this vehicle claims to see five comfortably, two up front, three in the back, and hold up to 200 kilograms of stuff. But guess what? We're gonna put this truck bed to the test. So, every year, my family, goes with me to America. That's wife and two kids. And we take about three suitcases ah, and one big army duffel bag with us. About that much stuff, maybe a little bit more. And that barely even scratches the surface of the capacity of this truck bed. That makes me a happy man. Well, as is tradition, let's get into the pluses and minuses of this Waz pickup. Well, the biggest plus, I'd have to say, is the price. It only costs from thirteen dollars to $15,000 for a pickup truck this big. Yeah, that's a good price. Also, parts for all Russian cars are pretty cheap and they're usually really easy to fix. However, this thing really eats you on the gasoline. It gets uh, 13 uh, liters to go 100 kilometers, or in a more logical measure, it gets about 20 miles per gallon. But to be honest, my dad used to have a truck that did 10 miles a gallon. 20, maybe not so bad. So we have taken this thing through the mud, gone through big ruts, and guess what? It can handle everything. Whether in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, we can off-road in this bad boy. Fantastic. But, but, while we were testing it out, this little white part here on one of the doors got jammed and we had actually had to fix it ourselves. So it's a fantastic vehicle for going off-road, but the doors, a little on the shaky side. Not so great. There are too many more minuses about this machine. I guess the only one I can say is when you sit on your car keys, you can accidentally set off the car alarm. That's kind of a downer. But another massive plus, speaking of massive, look at the space. Leg room space for stuff. You close this thing, you open this thing, more stuff. And you can even go in the back seat. Look at the back seat. Look, I'm a dad. I've got two kids. Look at all the space for children. And they even have leg room. You'd be surprised how many cars have no leg room for kids in the back seat. And of course, there's the truck bed. And there's even more space. Lots of space. Fantastic. Uh, I think that that's probably the biggest plus of this vehicle. Tons and tons of space for stuff and kids. Oh, oh, that was fun. That was awesome. Guess what, an off-road vehicle, they can actually do off-road. It's a fantastic thing, not like those fake SUVs. But anyways, we end every episode with a big question. Would I personally, me Tim Kirby, buy this vehicle? Yes, why? Because it's a big old pickup truck, which is